What is up guys, AshBFC here and welcome to Splinter Cell Conviction, the what, fifth entry I think in the Splinter Cell series? Now originally I wasn't actually doing more Splinter Cell on the channel, after I finished Double Agent I thought that was pretty much going to be it, but looks like I changed my mind. Now I'll be honest, you know I like this game, I think it's a good game, uh, same goes for Blacklist, um, I just don't think they're particularly great Splinter Cell games, because uh, they did go in a bit of a different direction and... Yeah, I kind of dumbed them down. They are way more streamlined, which is not what I, I wanted to see from Splinter Cell. But as I said, you know, they are good games. They're still fun. So, you know. But, uh, well, anyway, let's get this thing going. So, um, all right, first level, which is Merchant Street Market. I'm going to regret this. I'm going to so regret this, but I do this myself all the time. But it's just what I do. I'm an idiot. We're going to go realistic. So, ugh, I never learn, do I? I never learn. Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. The thing you have to understand is this. The Sam Fisher you knew is dead. America killed him, asked him to... Make one sacrifice too many, cross one line too far. A drunk driver killed him, some anonymous asshole who ran down his daughter and vanished. The she was the one thing in his life that humanized him. And his agency killed him. It set him up turned him loose and told him to pull the trigger on his best friend in a dirty New York City basement. Irving Lambert died by Sam's hand that day. And so did Sam. So he left. Left her at Echelon, left the life he knew, left America and mom and apple pie, left it all behind. He hopped off the grid and went walkabout, looking for a reason to go on living. Eventually, he found it. He caught a whisper in the wind that maybe his daughter's death hadn't been an accident. He heard a name. And he found somewhere to go looking. A city called Valletta. It's in Malta. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Phone call for you. Please accept this. Compliments of your call. Sam. Who is this? How'd you find me? Give me a little credit, Sam. Don't tell me you don't recognize my voice even after all this time. Grim, what do you want? To save your life. We can go from there. A team of armed men just entered the marketplace looking for you. They're closing in on your position. Unless you do exactly what I say, this will be a very short conversation. I'm not doing a damn thing until you tell me how you found me. We're third echelon. We've got an eye on everyone. Look up. You'll see it. I see it. Then I can take it back up to safe altitude, and you can get moving. You still haven't told me how you found me. Move. You've got multiple hostiles inbound on your position, and from where you're at, you're a sitting duck. Now get to that group of stalls in the market. There's a lot of cover for you there. Just like the old days, huh, Grim? Just like the old days, Sam. Are you carrying? Yeah, but I'd rather not risk a firefight when there are civilians around. That's very noble of you. But right now, what matters to me is getting you out of there in one piece. So get to that group of booths right now, or I can't help you, Sam. All right, here we go. So, like I did with all of this, but so all throughs, I'm all about that stealth, stealthy as possible. Good. Now let's get you a little closer to those targets in the light over there. Go cover to cover until you reach the luggage stand. Make it there, and I might be able to help you out. Yes, this is a little mechanic they introduced in this gear. You can like move from cover to cover like that. I'm there. Hang on. I'm tapping into the city's power grid. That'll let me overload the transformers near you and blow out yeah. those lights. At least we know the guy's alone. Hey, 
Hey there, kiddo. What's wrong? I don't like the dark. It's scary. Turn on the light for me, please. Come on, sweetie. There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Sometimes darkness is a good thing. Like when you want to go to sleep. I could go to sleep with the light on. When it's light, you can't see into a place that's dark. But when it's dark, you can see what's around you much better. Really? Really. So if there's monsters or bad people around, you can see them. And if you're in the dark, they can't see you. I can't see you either. Can you please turn the light back on? Okay. Then how about this? There's one really cool thing I didn't show you yet. There is? Show me. Okay, here it is. When you're in the dark and your eyes get used to it, you can see all sorts of things around you really well. And then you can do stuff with them. Like what? Now take a look at your mobile. You can see it really well, right? If there were monsters standing underneath it, because I can see it, maybe I could make it fall on them and they'd go away. And it would fall on their heads and they wouldn't be bad anymore? That's my girl. Teddy, what was that? Daddy needs you to stay in bed now, okay? He's gonna shut the door and be back real soon, all right? Okay, Daddy, I love you. Stay in bed. There you go, Sam. Nice and dark, just the way you like it. All right, let's get his first taste of action. Boom, in the head. It's in the first time, gone the second. Whatever, I'll take it. Oh, rude. What do you got, man? You got anything good? This place is shit. Yeah, you picked it, asshole. You said we'd get a couple of thou easy. I heard there was medals and shit we could fence in here. The lady that lives here is hot. Maybe we could wait for her to come home. Take it out and trade. Now shit. you're talking. So this is another mechanic introduced as well. This execute, you can mark two targets and boom. It looks pretty cool, I'll admit that. Dad, what did you do to them, Dad? Sarah, baby, don't look. Sam? Sam? What are you doing, Daddy? What, what are you are doing? doing? Sam, talk to me. Sam? Sam, are you there? Come on, don't check out on me. Yeah. Oh, there you are. They brought in some reinforcements, and the man calling the shots is with them. Get a hold of him. I'll ID him, and you can figure out what questions to ask. I think it's funny how Sam seems to get younger <laughs> as the games go on. It's a bit weird, isn't it? I must say as well, I'm probably not gonna. Not that I did super great in the other Splinter Cells, but I think I did alright in some of them. I know, I think Chaos Theory had a bit of a disaster in that occasionally, but uh, I don't expect to do super well in this because I'm not as familiar with this game. It's like only my probably second time through it, I think. I don't know, maybe third, but first time in a long time. Yeah, let's take this guy out. Let's mark again. The um, I don't sure. Can you mark up to three targets on the lower difficulty? Maybe I'm not entirely sure. I've got an ID on the leader, Sam. His name is Dimitri Gramkos, a local street level boss. He hires himself and his gang out on a regular basis. Who's he working for now? Why don't you ask him? I think I will. He also uh, did use this mechanic in um, Hitman Absolution, I think. I think this came out before Absolution. This was 2010, I think. I guess they borrowed it from this. Here smart. comes this guy. I'm gonna Probably grab him. Nice. Was it Double Agent where they first introduced the ability to grab people from round corners? I think the Xbox 360, PS3 version. I don't think you could do it in the PS2, Xbox version. But anyway, there um, there doesn't seem to be any way around this without get into a bit of a gunfight which is kind of annoying really but uh we'll mark these two guys 
Let's kill the other two guys. But he's our target, so that's gonna happen. We'll just need to take this guy out. I'm pretty sure as well on the realistic difficulty, you get spotted way, way quicker. There we go. Right after him. Looking for me, asshole. No more playing around. Who sent you? I'm not telling you a goddamn thing. I'll admit, I do love these interrogations. They're pretty badass. Let's whoop this guy. Okay, enough. You want to know, send me. It's Colbin. Andre Colbin. <coughs> Runs drugs, guns. Anything people want, he gets it for them. Not good enough. Why does Colbin want me dead? If I talk, he'll kill me. He's crazy. Drove the car that hit your daughter. You used to brag about it, you know? Uh, heard you were coming, so he hired me to, to kill you before you killed him. You should refund his money. Where do I find him? You don't understand. Oh! He killed me! Damn! In the city, the old museum on King George Street. It's his place now. Guards out front and on the sides. Don't tell him I told you. Oh, I'm not gonna tell him a damn thing. All right, so there you go. That's the uh, the first mission done. It's just a short one there. Most likes the tutorial, really, to ease you into the game. Um, I forget <laughs> difficulty-wise. What's this game like compared to this? If I remember right, for the most part, it, it's easier than the other ones due to some of the mechanics, like the you know attaching to cover and grabbing guys um, you know, around corners and uh, the execute thing. But I do recall them being a couple of really, really tough missions uh, in there. So, uh, well, we'll see what happens when we get to those. But uh, yeah, so there's your first part of Splinter Cell Conviction. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.